First question on this episode came from my guy Javo. He said, with Burrow getting hurt, the media will run with that on why the Ravens won the game against the Bengals, LOL. But my question to you is, okay, well, let's, let's start with that first because his next question was completely different from that. But Joe Burrow, um, it, it was unfortunate uh, with him getting hurt in the game, and now he's out for the season. See, I, like, look, man, I, I, know I, I, ain't, I ain't got no medical degrees, but I don't need them. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. And like I said in previous videos, before it was announced that he was out for the season, I knew Joe Burrow was going to be out for the season. Of course, didn't want him to be, but I, I figured that he was going to be out for the season just because it it just it made like it it, it made sense because of the type of injury that they, he had and because of the timetable as well. Um, not not happy that he's out for the season, but I just figured because if you can't grip a football, what are you gonna if you rehab it? Like it's only six games left. And if you do surgery, then that ends the season. So it just it just made sense. Uh, but anyway, um, with that, Joe Burrow, uh, so he'll be missing uh, the rest of this year. So that'll be six games. Then he, uh, I know his rookie year, he, well, how many games did he play? Like four or five? I forgot how many games he played his rookie year. But he missed a chunk of that with the, uh, the I think, the ACL injury. And then, like I know in, in training camps previously, he's he's been hurt too. So I, I know uh, with Lamar, a lot of people say Lamar Jackson is injury prone, but they won't say that Joe Burrow is. Um, and they've played, I, I, saw, saw, I saw a statistic that says since 2020, they've played like just about the same amount of games. Like one of them played like 52 games, another one played like 50 games. So it, it's, it's super close. Um, but again, I think with both of them, it's just been freak injuries. But you know what the media with Lamar, it's, oh, he injury prone, but with Joe Burrow, they, they don't do that. And not saying that they need to do it for either one. Or to make, I just feel like it, it, and it's, it's, it's an old thing with Lamar. Like, you know how um, he gets treated a lot differently by media, from fans, from a lot of people. He gets treated a lot differently than other quarterbacks and whatnot, other players and whatnot. And then that also brings into question, how do you feel about the pocket? How do you feel about quarterbacks that aren't not as mobile as others? Because we know Joe, Joe Burrow can scramble if he need to, but he obviously can't scramble like a Lamar Jackson. I mean, really nobody can, but with, is, is the pocket even more dangerous than somebody was to move outside the pocket a bit? Now think about that, because if guys is diving at you, guys coming at you, guys jumping on your leg, diving at your legs, going at your knees, and you can't really move like that, are you more susceptible to injury? So that's just a question that... You can ask yourself. I'm sure I, I look forward to hearing y'all in the comment section too. But it's just, again, it's unfortunate that this happens. Injuries are the worst part of the game to me. I, I hate them. Um, but it's just something to, to think about. But anyway, his question, uh, he said, why is Brandon Stevens not getting the credit he deserves? Because he definitely came a long way. He certainly has. He's getting plenty of credit from Ravens fans. I, I saw something on uh, Twitter the other day, or X, whatever you want to call it, where somebody was like, you know Brandon Stevens is balling. Because he gave up a touchdown and Ravens fans did not trash him at all. And I was like, wow, that is a uh, powerful truth right there. Because it's true. He, he gave up the touchdown to Jamar Chase, I believe, and I ain't see nobody saying, oh, Brandon Stevens sucks, he's terrible, he's this. No. No, not at all. He, uh, he has been doing a great job. And then I was seeing these highlights of him covering Jamar Chase. And I'm like, man, that Brandon Stevens is loose. And he was really sticking with him. I was like, whoa, okay, Brandon Stevens. I was impressed. And I was like, wow, that, that that was crazy. But I loved it. So shout out to Brandon Stevens. But yeah, he um he he's getting credit from Ravens fans. Now, if you're talking national media, no. That mm -mm, no, that no. That's not happening at all. Uh but anyway, uh Jarvo's other question. He said, How do you feel about Joe Flacco trying out for the Browns? Hey, <laughs> let him do it. That's I mean, we well, we could possibly see the Browns um if we played them in the playoffs again. But with Joe Flacco, I, that would be interesting, man. That would be something if they signed Joe Flacco. I wouldn't be mad at it. I would love to see Joe Flacco get another chance because this is probably uh, this may be one of his last chances. I would expect him to retire any day now. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But I, I would be completely cool with it. That, that would be interesting to see. Uh, he also said, can we franchise tag Patrick Queen or Justin Matabike if a deal can't be made and then tag another free agent the following year like Bateman or Owe if they can't get a deal done with them? Oh, yeah. I, you asked this question already. And we answered it already, but we'll do it again. But yeah, the, the franchise tag once once per year, so you can tag whoever you want to. 
just you can only use one though. You can only use that franchise tag one time on one player per year. Um, and when you use that franchise tag, you just know that it has a big possibility of things getting ugly, depending on the situation and whatnot. But anyway, and he also said, um, is it me or is Lamar extremely focused than ever this year? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely asked both of these questions before. But yeah, man, it, I mean, he gotta be. Because if they want to get where they need to go, then the focus is a requirement. Oh, man. Next question came from my guy, Michael. He said, hoping all is well with you and the family. I'm watching your video and you're talking about Lamar not running when he has an open lane. We might need to remind the followers and the fans that the last two months of the year, we have been without Lamar due to injury. Maybe he's trying to change that trend and let it all hang out when it matters most. When he gets through into the playoffs and see how far we can go. That's my two cents. Enjoy it. Uh, and he said it. <laughs> I like that. That's like a little, like almost like a little villain leaving the scene. He said, "That's my two cents. Enjoy it if you must. Won't lose any sleep if you don't." Um, out. I like that. That's a nice little exit right there. I'm gonna sound like you need to start doing videos yourself. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's something that we've talked about too. Yeah, Lamar is uh, it's just it's, it's long term thinking. Uh, cause we we mentioned that plenty of times on here that it, it just seems like it's just long term thinking, and he's just really trying self preservation. Really trying to preserve himself for the long term, for the, the remainder of the season. Because, yeah, like you mentioned, he has missed the past two ends of seasons. So he's going to want to be out there for the long run, uh, for when it does matter even more. Uh, so, yeah, because I can't never necessarily say when it matters most. Because regular season, you got to win in the regular season to even get there. But, yeah, so when it matters even more. Um, because both obviously regular season is super important, but then yeah, postseason is extremely important as well, and, and that's a direct reflection of your regular season. So yeah, man, I, I get it, and it just it makes all the sense in the world. Appreciate you.